Greetings fellow Cyberhead. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this old laptop. I believe it's about 2008 Dell XPS in 1330, so it's got the NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, so it should be not too bad a little computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Windows XP Pro. We're going to use this CD to do it. So if I just put it into the start position and when I press the start button it should grab it. Awesome. Now it's grabbed it. So now we're going into the boot sequence. I have to jump on the F2 button very quickly. Depending on what type of computer you have there are various ways of getting into the BIOS. As you can see it is waiting for the setup. And we are in. So using the arrow keys I'm going to just make my way down to the boot sequence. There we go. And as we can see, the CD and DVD drive are in the number one position, which means that the laptop will actually boot from the CD first. So that's exactly what we want. So if I just press escape and then use the arrow key to go to exit and let's go back to the boot up sequence. And this should actually boot from the CD now. Press any key to boot from the CD, so I'm just pressing any key. And here we go into the familiar Windows XP era installation sequence. The thing about Windows XP is that it does suffer from a few issues. One of them being that Microsoft itself has stopped supporting Windows XP. So it's not updating any of the security fixes, which basically means that if you are surfing the internet with Windows XP, then it could be prone to hacking. Uh, the other issue, which is also very major, is that browsers that exist in the world, they've all pulled support for Windows XP Pro, so they also don't have any security updates or fixes for their software. So here we are in the boot up sequence. We're going to just get into it. What we're going to do first is we're going to set up XP Pro. So I'll just press enter. And let the disk do its thing. F8 to agree, it says down the bottom. Now there is, seems to be two partitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete both partitions. So to do that, just go down to uh, the second partition and then press D, it says here, press D. And then to delete this, press L. So all data on this partition will be lost. There it goes, it's now un unpartitioned. So we'll do the same for the C drive as well. Press D, then press enter rather than L. So I'll just press enter, oh, there goes the L. Press L and now we have one ginormous unpartitioned space. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to install Windows XP onto this unpartitioned space. So I'll just press enter to set up Windows XP on a selected item. And we'll format it using the quick formatter. If you wanted to completely obliterate everything on your hard drive, like you have sensitive documents or whatever that you've backed up elsewhere and you just wanted to format it, if you were giving your computer away or selling it or anything like that, then you would use the full formatter. setup is just copying the files over. I'll speed ramp this so that you don't have to wait for the entire copy process and we'll see how it goes when it completes. Fantastic setup is asking us to reboot, so I'll just press enter. Now we're going through the boot sequence again. So this time I won't boot from the CD. 
I'll just let it run through its sequence and ooh la la. Hello Windows XP Pro. Haven't seen you for a while. Not since the mid 2000s. Now I used to be a big fan of Windows XP Pro. I ran, I think it was the Adobe Suite CS4 which ran without a hiccup. At the time I was also running Pro Tools and it handled it pretty well as well. Right, so now we're into the <clears throat> boot up sequence. So I'll just go through some really quick um, windows. I won't bother about a administrator password because I'm not going to actually stick with this for very long. So I'll also do the typical settings and I'll make this part of the work group. I'm just quickly going through this. I'll speed ramp this so that you don't have to wait for the entire process. <laughs> Brilliant, now we're going through the reboot sequence and again I'll allow it just to continue past the initial boot from CD function. So as you can see up there it says press any key to boot from CD which I won't. And now we go through the boot sequence once more. Almost there. Oh, here we go. So it'll automatically adjust our screen. So I'll go yes and okay. This looks fine. So the problem with this right now is that we don't actually have any of the drivers for this computer. But that doesn't matter because we are not going to be sticking with Windows XP anyway. So I'll just go through the process of going next. I'll call this uh, Winnie. Windows. Oh, help if I actually get into the field. Here we go. Windows. Go down to the next button on the corner and press go. Congratulations, you are ready to go. So I'll just go finish. And welcome uh, to a Windows XP Pro. There we go, the familiar screen of Windows XP Pro. So I'll just change the background. To Windows XP. There we go. And that is how easy it is to get Windows XP Pro installed onto a laptop. Cheers.